What's going on, everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. This is going to be a quick one, but uh, recently we got an announcement that a new ROG Ally is coming. It's going to be known as the ROG Ally X. Over on ROG's official YouTube page, they had a live stream uh, kind of announcing that the Ally X is on the way. We didn't get all of the information we really wanted, but they did mention a few key things. And after the ROG poll stream, ASUS posted a picture over on their Twitter page. And uh, we're going to take a close look at this because it definitely looks like there is kind of an ROG Ally X hiding in this image. As you can see from this image, we've got a lot of ROG Allies hanging out here on the couch, under the coffee table over here, on the shelf. And if we move down just a bit, you can see there's another handheld peeking its head out. And this one isn't white like the original ROG Ally, so it definitely looks like we're getting a new color variant. And if we move in a bit closer, doesn't help much, but we can definitely tell that this is not the original ROG Ally. So yeah, we're getting the X and a black variant, which is really awesome. I know a lot of people have been asking about that with the original ROG Ally. And everything about the ROG Ally X will be announced on June 2nd. I'm actually really excited about this. But in the live stream, they stated that it will be using the same exact screen. So we're not getting an OLED display, at least with the X model. They said that this was not the ROG Ally 2. This is just kind of a mid-gen refresh like a lot of companies do. Another thing that was kind of hinted at was faster and more RAM. So we might even have a 32 gigabyte variant. That would be pretty awesome. But one thing I'd love to see here is faster RAM. Going from 6400 megahertz in the original Ally up to 75 or maybe even something that we haven't seen before, 8400. It would definitely up the performance of the AMD Ryzen Z1 Extreme. But they also announced that it's not getting an OLED display. It's going to be using the same VRR 120 hertz display that's in the original Ally right now, which I'm fine with. I actually like it. But that's one thing that I was really hoping for because Asus does an amazing job with their OLEDs. Their Nebula displays for their ROG products are really awesome. And I wouldn't doubt it if, you know, with the ROG Ally 2, if we get an OLED, I'm pretty sure we'd need one by then. But again, this is not the ROG Ally 2. This is a mid-gen refresh, kind of the ROG Ally 1.5. They're also going to be swapping over from that 2230 M.2 SSD to a 2280, which is going to make it a lot cheaper for people to upgrade the storage in these devices. But I'd say one of the best upgrades here for the new ROG Ally X is a much larger battery. They didn't specifically state how large the new battery is, but online people have been kind of speculating 30 to 40% larger than the one that's in the original ROG Ally, which is going to give us some awesome runtime. And that's something that a lot of people are going to be looking forward to. So to recap, everything is going to be announced on June 2nd, but what we know so far is we are getting a bigger battery, a 2280 M.2 SSD. They also mentioned more ports, so possibly USB 4, that would be really awesome. Improved ergonomics, faster RAM, more RAM, maybe. That would be really cool to get a 32 gig version and especially having faster RAM with that Ryzen Z1 Extreme would be great. A new color option, and I think they're gonna be offering more storage out of the door, possibly a two terabyte version, but I'd love to know in the comments below what you'd like to see out of the ROG Ally X. Unfortunately, we're not getting an OLED display. Nebula is out of the question right now. They're going to be sticking with that 1080p, 120 hertz VRR display that's in the original Ally. And I will keep everybody up to date. Remember, June 2nd, we'll get all the information, pricing, and everything's going to be announced. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. I personally love the original ROG Ally. Having that bigger battery is something I'm looking forward to. And I really hope we've got faster RAM here just to increase the performance of that AMD Ryzen Z1 Extreme. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. I figured I'd go ahead and make a quick video. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. Is this something you're going to skip? Are you going to stick with what you got right now? Go with the Steam Deck OLED? Let us know down below. And like always, thanks for watching.